Hey everyone, this is Minion from Minion's Army, and today's video is all about Town Hall 12 Three Star War Attacks, and these replays are coming to you from the last two wars that you can see there. They're both very close wars. Um, Calibet Pang, we beat them by one star, and then Benefit Union was tied in the star count, but we were able to squeak out ahead with a last minute war attack to increase percentage. The videos that you're going to see today are by Maddie, by Fuzz, and by Jackson, and then a special replay by Steve. Maddie's army that he's using is unique. It is basically a Pekka bow bat variation. Um, we'll call it the, the Maddie Wrecker. And then we have Jackson with uh, a classic E drag attack, and then Fuzz with a Lalo. And here we go. First one in is by Maddie. He is coming in with an E drag and a queen walk, which is going to turn into a queen charge as soon as the wall wrecker comes in, um, creating a funnel there to get the wall wrecker to go to the town hall. The king is used as a funnel and he is working his way towards the nine o'clock area with two witches and a pekka to help build that funnel. The wall wrecker is coming in and behind the wall wrecker we have bowlers and the warden set to ground and a few more pekka and a witch so it's a bit of a mixed bag everybody and as you can see it's going to overwhelm this base clutch move on the warden to save the troops from the giga tesla and he is hitting a tesla farm right there in the core with at the same time he's hitting the enemy clan castle troops which is a, a bit of a problem but um, waits out the ice golem and then he proceeds on and uh, you can see how devastating this this attack is he has a bat wave coming in from five o'clock nice thing about the bat wave is it spreads out the bats um, a little less likely of, of hitting a red bomb and taking out all the bats at once the queen's going to step up take out the inferno and he is proceeding on and he is just rocking and rolling through the space and he's got his cleanup down and he is just just demolishing it um, has a little bit of what some people would consider an unlucky troop split split he's got some troops over in the northwest he's got his queen kind of stuck there in the middle but she's going to take care of some key defenses that she can reach um, the cleanup troops are helping and the rest of the troops now um, they're with the warden and the healers are i mean look at them they're they're all near perfect health there might be a pekka that's got a little bit of, of health kind of taken away from him but the healers are are healing it up and uh, he's got the majority of this base down while this attack is finishing up i'll let you know about jackson's next hit now jackson's hit it's your classic e-drag hit um, however the base although it is decently weighted for a town hall 12 is a very poor design so those people who are continuing to struggle with uh, ring based designs Jackson's hit is definitely one you want to see and um, it's going to pop up here and you can take a look at, at what I'm wanting to show for you. Um, see how it is? It's it's a ring base so it's designed to hopefully make the troops go round and round. Um, a while back they called this uh, ring around the rosy base um, but we've got your king coming in and the queen at six o'clock and they're setting up the funnel there. We've got an e-drag and a baby dragon at three o'clock a few loons to clear out the sams and he's just sprinkling those in um, he's got his warden set to air followed by his e-drags and a slammer so beyond the poor design of the re the ring base by itself we have those huge storages that the troops are pressing on towards the the huge elixir storages there the king is whacking on one and e-drag is whacking on the other any type of troop that is uh, defensive seeking like you know loons and, and then of course the slammer those huge storages are just going to push the troops into the core so in in this case that's how it worked out and uh, the e-drags are using their chain lightning to just um, take care of business you know with with these bases like this and with the buildings touching each other um, the chain lightning is is very deadly and and you can get up to five chains and take out defenses before they can even target your your troops so um, good job Jackson the next hit is by fuzz and it's an electron hit 
and um, he starts off with a blimp and he is pushing that blimp in towards the enemy queen and that inferno clones up his troops rages his troops and um, and does massive damage there interior to the base and um, and fuzz is also working while his his electron is going on his king and his queen are also working to clear out trash and the queen was able to step up and take out an ad so at this point he has well, 25 percent of the base already down he's going to start his lalo portion in the west with his hounds and his warden coming across with the loons and he's going to work these troops basically from a western side of the base over to the eastern side of the base so um so as this progresses this is a little harder um type of lalo to do to come straight across the middle of the base um you know it's because of the funneling that he has created um, and the, the design of the base, you know, the base already had a notch knocked out in the north, so, um, so he definitely did a good job recognizing this base. I'm certain that he did not plan on using that, um, that warden so early um, that he felt it necessary to keep his troops alive. And um, because of the electron portion of this attack, he's short on spells. So um, it makes it tough. You know, he's coming into a multi-set inferno, yet he's got loads of pups up. He still has one hound that hasn't popped. And he has loons. Um, the king taking, attacking the ice golem, you know, it's, that's more of a nuisance. I know it's mostly a, an air attack. But, um, but those troops will thaw and they'll continue on. So... If we take a look at what is left, he has a wizard tower and an inferno. Um, neither of those do a whole lot of damage to the hound. However, they would be deadly to the pups. But at this point, he has so many pups that he can go ahead and overwhelm it. And he still has that baby dragon and the warden to, to help with the matter. So, good job, Fuzz. And the next hit is, um, is an extra special hit that I like. It's from Steve, and this is from a war a while back. Um, I had this one on the back burner. And um, just for a, a video like this where, where I had just a few Town Hall 12 hits. So, um, so this is definitely um, one that's worth watching. And he is setting up an attack that's going to be a drag bat attack. He's using that E-drag and his royals to to carve out a section of the base. The E-Drag did damage to the Town Hall, so the, t the Tesla went ahead and popped up, and he has got the enemy Clan Castle troops are pulled. Um, with it being an air attack, the Hound's not going to matter too much, but the other troops would. So he drops the Freeze, the Rage, and the Bats to take care, to let the Bat Bomb go off and take care of the North. So as his troops are working across the base, I'm certain he would have liked to have not popped the hound, but uh, but he did. So uh, now he's he's just got to hope and pray that um, that his dragons will will go ahead and target those pups before the the pups take care of all the bats and um, possibly even target the loons. Um, he is right there in the core of the base, um, probably hoping that the dragons would. Uh, take care of that eagle a little sooner. The warden had to do it, but uh, but that is okay because all that is left is one AD, which just went down, and he has a wizard tower, two archer towers, and that might have been a cannon or a mortar. I'm not certain which one went down, but at this point, there's really nothing left of the base. There's no defenses, so it's just the dragons on cleanup. So great hit, Steve, and great hit to uh, great hits to all the Town Hall 12s that are in parrots. Um, you guys do a fantastic job and I love sharing the videos so um, we're going to push this off into double time and I will probably do a video for um, the Town Hall 10s next but uh, but stay tuned and uh, if you'd like to see what I have to show go ahead and subscribe to the channel take care everyone thanks for watching bye bye